Hello everyone, uh, Snack Training here. Today is Wednesday, June 5th. I'll be going over my recap for today. Um, so today, um, up a total of $42. <coughs> trading uh, a couple of stocks here. Um, taking a few losses, which I uh, went in a little too early. Um, but let's get started. So my first one was EOLS. So e EOLS, um, I saw this little extension here. I was hoping for a um, five minute break um, for the 15 retest here, but it, it kind of trended like way above the 15 minute. Uh, I felt it was a little overextended, but uh, it finally retested pretty much towards the end of the day. Um, but I tried a short here for this uh, cup and handle here, but uh, went in a little early. Uh, I was uh, anticipating a 16, um, 16 break, uh, it didn't happen, so I just uh, cut my loss there. Uh, just a really small loss, $4. Um, GNCA, so GNCA, um, it had, I think, yeah, so it was on the five minute here, uh, and I was waiting for a 15 minute retest here, so you can see it tapped at. Um, so what I saw was um, the five minute chart. So I was looking at the five minute chart because it was holding trend in the five minute. Um, and then I went ahead and tried to short uh, into this pop here with my wrist off of the high of day. Um, I ended up uh, pushing down towards this uh, 686 area, uh, which created another <coughs> higher low uh, afterwards so you can see it was creating this downtrend um, so I went ahead and lock in some profits here when it retested this downtrend uh, re-added this pop with my risk of uh, now at 710 uh, went ahead and covered uh, I got a fill right here um, and then I got another fill down here at six, 768 or so um, and this was a $59 winner. Uh, I went ahead and stopped them at the rest there. I think I had like a very small 50 shares left there. Um, SFIX. So this one was a, um, was more of a swing, uh, after hour trade. So you can see that it kind of popped up and I thought it was overextended on the five minute. Uh, it broke it broke trend a little bit uh, but it held uh, and never retested the 50 minute and it just kind of trended sideways after after a bit and I, I just kind of kept my loss there uh, for a $33 loss on after hours SIN so I had a long end short for this so my first uh, trade on this was a short uh, and I saw this uh, 6 uh, area um, breaking and I think it was also the five minute uh, trend break so I went ahead and short and cover uh, for a quick scalp uh, that's a $35 uh, winner there uh, I ended up like getting to a little 630 on that, that move um, which was like a low of, low of day during the open hours uh, and then I went ahead and try a short, uh, try a long here, and, and it took a forty-one dollar loss. So I went, I went in a little bit early. Um, I saw it was popping back up and over this uh, six thirty-six area, which was prior uh, support. Um, so I was hoping for it to break out here for this cup and handle. Um, but um, I think because it was during uh, lunch lunchtime hour and the time of the day. Um, it didn't didn't really want to break out there um, because the five minute looks good the 15 minute looks good and the hour looks looks good um, so I think if it was uh, later on on the day it may be a, a little bit more consolidation uh, after lunch it might have uh, broken out but I took a loss there for a $41 loss 
to um, I think I stop at these lows here yeah so I stopped out there went a little early I should have waited to until this uh, breakout happens uh, my next trade was WKHS so this was a quick little scalp I think it was trending the one minute here um, and then I saw this uh, move here so you can see there's a little cup and handle it broke I showed that break and then just cover it cover uh, it was a quick little scalp at $27 um, I was looking at it because it went ahead and tested the five minute so I wanted to also short it the this five minute break here. Uh, I think it was right here. So it broke, kind of popped back, and then continued down. But uh, that was also another scalp if I were to take that uh, because it retested the 15 minute trend on the 90 MA. Um, so overall, um, some uh, winners and losers um, up a total of $42. Um, so hopefully I, I kind of stay more patient and just hit the ones that trigger and not to get in early because um, it's always uh, better to get in a little later when the trend is with you than getting um, in a little early and getting stopped out so as always um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching um, if you like my uh, videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and comment thank you bye bye